Hey YouTube.com, I'm Jason Ward from MakingStarWars.net and today I'm going to talk about spoilers from Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. So if you don't want spoilers, don't watch the video. Get out of here. Alright, really quickly, a new TV spot came, I think it's called Celebrate, and in it there's this shot of a bunch of X-Wings and the Rebel Blockade Runner, or the Tantiv 4 or Tantiv 4 whatever the hell it's called now. They're going through this red mist, and that's what everybody's been asking about, like what is that red mist? Well, if you've been following all the spoilers I've been doing and stuff like that, there's this guy named Mochi and the dagger and all the stuff and Wayfinders and this whole, like, crazy quest to find something and how to get somewhere. Well, it takes everybody to this red spot, and that is the hyperspace lane to Exegol. And so essentially, when Kylo finds it early in the, very early in the movie, that's how he is able to have this conversation with his buddies or whatever, Hux and Pride. And they're like, this is a fool's errand and he believes in it. He goes there through, through that hyperspace lane, at that, starting at that red mist. And then he ends up finding old man Palpatine in his bed. Well, in Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker later on, when Rey gets the Sith dagger and the Wayfinder, has the vision of herself as evil and all that stuff, it takes her to that same spot. And they're basically able to give that information to the Resistance, who's able to then send Rey and Janna and all of the forces through it to go on that suicide mission to take out Pride's Star Destroyer and stop them from being able to abduct children. And also, it allows Rey to go meet her grandfather, Old Man Palpatine. So, I'm releasing this video and this story as a little bit of uh, good faith, because I have a cooler story that I could release but I'm only going to do it if we get more people donating to the Star Wars, um, making Star Wars.net's Kessel Toy Run. And that's where we donate toys to hospitalized children. So if I see that Amazon wish list cooking, then we will definitely release that story sooner than later. And it's pretty fun, I think. I think it's cool. And I think it's going to make watching episodes seven and eight a kind of slightly different experience for you. So donate, help kids out who need, who, who, or who could use. Some fun Star Wars toys for themselves and their siblings during a really awful time when they're hospitalized. And make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, let me know what you think, or if you have any large questions from TV spots that maybe I could answer for you. And if I can, I will. Um, and make sure you help out. And thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next MakingStarWars.net video. I'll shake the camera a lot at the end.